So I really wanted to start doing a video called Hustler of the Week, where we take one of our candidates who is okay with telling their story and being put out on the internet of how a felony is holding them back and to kind of just showcase their talents and their skills so we can have employers reach out and say, hey, I wanna hire you. And we do this because we really have a lot of great candidates that we just truly don't have the contracts or the clients for. So we want to offer up to anybody who sees one of our hustlers of the week, no strings attached, no fees, just reach out. If you wanna hire them, then go for it. Um, this guy, Scott, sitting next to me, very, very, very interesting story. He actually is a year and a half in recovery and he had a DWI that caused bodily injury. So that automatically makes it a felony. Um, tell us about your odd sentence that you have and why it's hard to get a job. And um, just, tell, just tell us a little bit about what you wanna do, what do you enjoy doing? And um, I guess a little bit about what your situation is so people can really understand. Okay. My name's Scott, and uh, I had been a school teacher for probably about five years. It was a second career for me. Prior to that, I, I worked for kind of in corporate America. I worked for a large corporation for probably 20 years, decided to try something new and exciting. And uh, during uh, the five years that I was a teacher, uh, my drinking uh, increased. It's, uh, I'm an alcoholic. And it is a progressive disease. And sometimes that takes months. Sometimes that takes years to happen. Uh, anywho, during a uh, school break over the Christmas holiday, I drank. And uh, I drank quite a bit uh, the day after Christmas by myself. And uh, had the great idea of driving across the street, driving across the street, to buy more beer and I pulled out in front of a woman in a smart car uh, the accident broke her one of her legs uh, in a few in a few places and uh, I was hauled in to to jail and uh, for the next year and a half I waited for my sentence uh, my sentence was uh, could have been, could have been very difficult. Uh, could have could have been an eight-year penitentiary situation. Because of the four people that I had speak on my behalf, my my sponsor, a fellow teacher, uh, retired uh, a case ma a, a case manager that used to be a Dallas cop for thirty years, they all spoke in my behalf, and the sentence that I did get was follows uh the the month of july for three years so this july next july and the following july why because that was the uh month that i got a dwi 10 years ago so the month of july you go into jail for the entire month, every year for the next three years. Yes. And they did that because they think that you would still keep a teaching career, and could be. Could you know? I I don't. I, don't, I didn't get the chance to ask the judge. You know why? I, I didn't think that was probably appropriate. But uh, it's funny that it is during the uh, school break. But I also thought about it later, and I thought maybe this is just a harsh reminder of my first DWI 10 years ago in July. And the other sentence is, uh, I go to jail the day after Christmas through New Year's Day uh, for the next five years. And of course, that's when I was arrested and booked for the felony. So uh, that's my sentence. Uh, I can no longer teach anymore. I was really good at it. Uh, I made learning fun. I got a lot of kids to pass the STAR test that had never passed it before. And um, I cannot teach even with a uh, third degree felony. I cannot teach. I can't even really tutor. So I would say that a really great position for you, especially because you're in recovery and being in recovery, you want to help others. Mm -hmm. I know that myself. 
So I would think like a case manager for a sober living home or something would be a great position for you. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we make these videos is because I just want to quickly once a week have a way to put out people's stories and what their skills are, what their situation is. And maybe just maybe there's somebody out there on my LinkedIn or on my Facebook that says, you know what? I want to give that guy a chance. I want to hire him. Like I said, no strings attached, no fees. You don't have to go through Cornbread Hustle. They stay in our community anyway. We do a lot of fun stuff together and you guys just take them and do something with them and make a happy life and a win-win for everybody. So with that being said, this is Scott. I'm Sherry. He is our first Cornbread Hustler of the week. We're excited to put out more and I'm excited to see what kind of opportunities we can get for you, Scott. One last thing I want to point out is I've been successful for decades building relationships, whether that be in wholesale, whether that be in uh, helping kids learn, whether that be uh, uh, donating my time at a homeless shelter. Uh, I like to make a difference in my relationships. So that crosses boundaries in all different types of jobs. So please not consider- Not bad boundaries. Me. Not bad boundaries, not great bad. boundaries. Okay. Large so, <laughs> Okay. So thank you everybody for tuning in and we look forward to hearing from somebody who would like to give Scott an opportunity. Bye.